Microsoft has introduced a new AI image generation tool called Microsoft Bing Image Creator. So this video we're going to talk about Microsoft Bing Image Creator. How is it creating images? How can you access it and how do you generate images using that so that you can use that service to create images just from text. This is not entirely new because Microsoft Image Creator actually uses DALI. DALI is from a company called OpenAI and Microsoft is a huge investor in OpenAI and they've got a lot of exclusive partnership with OpenAI. When GPT-3 came, Microsoft had had exclusive partnership. OpenAI has got some partnership with Microsoft uh, Azure. So this partnership is continuously evolving. And today you are seeing one of the byproducts of this partnership, which is Microsoft Bing Image Creator. Currently it says preview. The way you can access it is you can go to bing.com slash images slash create. I will link it in the YouTube description. So you don't have to manually type the URL by use yourself. Once you land on Microsoft Bing Image Creator, you would be greeted with this landing page that says create images from words with AI. Sign in right now. Image Creator generates images, AI images based on your text. And while signing up, you also get 25 credit. You get 25 credit when you sign up and that is something that you can use. And uh, there are a lot of FAQs. One of the important FAQ is what is Image Creator? So this is a tool that helps people create, generate AI images with DALI. So this gives away that this is a DALI's front end, which Microsoft is trying to use. But I don't know why the Bing branding, maybe Microsoft is planning to do something with Bing. So in my opinion, Bing is a search engine. So I, I didn't understand entirely why would you call it Bing image creator, but that's what we have. Now, another thing is, what if you run out of boost, the 25 boost that you get when you sign up for Microsoft image creator, Bing image creator. So when, if you are going to run out of it, then you can use Microsoft rewards to redeem additional boost. I'm not sure how that works. I've never heard about Microsoft redeem. So I don't know how that works. And another important thing is you need to have a Microsoft account. Like you need to have an Outlook account, Microsoft account for you to use this thing. And Microsoft is also addressing, you know, the ethical reasons of AI uh, image creation. So you can read more about it. One interesting thing is they have given a very nice template of how you can use to create an image. What their suggestion is, take an adjective, add it with a noun, add it with a verb and add a style and that's how you create an image. So for example, you can say, I want a fuzzy creature wearing sunglasses, digital art that will create the image. This tip is very much applicable for OpenAI da DALI, which is what Microsoft Image Creator is using. So enough of talking, uh, I'm going to start using the tool. So you can click this and that will ask you to sign up or sign in with Microsoft account. And once you sign in or once you click that and enter, you would be entering this page where you have a place where you can enter the prompt where it says want to see how image creator works. So if you do not know how to type anything, you can click surprise me and that will give you some prompt by itself. So they have got probably like a set of templated prompts and these prompts are available here. A brown rat terrier dressed as a jungle explorer, digital art. So this is this is one of the prompts. You can again click surprise me. Uh, this is like, you know, I'm lucky. I'm getting lucky something Google does. So a boy wearing a yellow rain coat, holding a red balloon, standing in front of a smoky volcano, digital art. So you have multiple options and you have other options as well here. So you have options here that says uh, what kind of things, a futuristic athletic sneaker, digital art, 3D render on a yellow background with paint splashing in the air. You can download the image. You can create it. It also says the tag created with AI. You can share it. So now let's try something. So let's say, um, let's use this. Let's use this as a, a prompt and let's try something. Copy this, come back here, paste it here. What is a futuristic Game Boy gaming console, digital art, 3D render. I'm going to keep everything same. Instead of shoe, I'm going to call it futuristic Game Boy gaming console. I'm going to click create. That's going to take one of my boost or one of the credit. And this interface, you're probably quite familiar if you have used DALI. So it, it gives you tips and tools how to create using DALI. Uh, it takes a bit of time and uh, after it has generated, you can see the images. So this is one image. This, this is a 512 by 512 image. 
this is another image it's a gaming console this looks actually good and you have got four gaming consoles i'm not sure what is futuristic in this maybe because they've got joystick but this works pretty well so you got four images one boost if you run out of boost then image generation might take longer i don't know how much time it would take longer but that's another thing that you can see that image generation can take longer and you have got these microsoft rewards uh, you can do certain activities to gain more rewards again i'm not very familiar with this microsoft reward ecosystem looks like uh, some kind of gamification microsoft has got but overall this is a very interesting idea of how microsoft is trying to take all these generative ai models that are quite popular into mainstream i am very much looking forward to more such initiatives it's not to say that you know this is a competition between google and microsoft but it is just purely as an enthusiast i'm excited to see when generative ai models like this are given in the hands of public and that is one of the reason why i made this video even though the entire ui is quite self intuitive the reason i made this is to help people so that they can get started easily i'm going to again quickly summarize the first thing that you have to do is go to bing.com/images/create click come here click sign in now and then that will take you to this page which is the landing page oh sorry that will take you to this landing page which is microsoft image creator bing image creator where you have got lot of information around here so it says number 2 made out of leaves on a teal background photorealistic and you've got a lot of options and then you can you can look for more options so i'm going to i'm going to show you how you can do it either you can click one of this prompt images copy the prompt and then come or you can go here and directly write so i know dali does text very bad that's exactly why i'm going to ask dali to write text so the text the word one one little coder made out of leaves on a teal background photorealistic so the way microsoft asks you to do it have an adjective at the start and then a noun and then a verb and then a style so very easy, templated so in this case we are saying i want a word and the word should be this it should be made out of leaves and what should be the background and what should be the style it's not going to create one little coder we know that dali is quite bad with text but let's try it out click generate it's going to take one of my boost you can see from 24 it has already become 23 while it is generating uh, it's taking couple of seconds in my opinion it is kind of slower than dali in itself um, but yeah so you have this image which is a 512 by 512 it completely ignored the little coder part it has just put one 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 everywhere and as usual microsoft uh, sorry dali is quite bad with the text but this is this is a good thing like you can play around with this you get 25 credit uh, try out try out and let me know you know how it goes what if you found anything interesting please let me know in the comment section otherwise all the required links will be in the youtube description happy prompting